Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of Enigmatica 9 Expert, playing with the Ascended Crafters here on our server. Let's dive in. Been a bit since our last episode, and that's because I've been rather busy. My wedding and admining and all that, but today we are going to do quest progress. Let me, th let me uh, change, I've got a AOE harvest spell. There we go. I was gonna say, I thought it's supposed to get the melons and stuff, but it seems to be hit or miss what all it harvests. Yeah, haven't, uh, haven't made too much progress in a little bit. Uh, luckily, some players are catching up to me in progress, which is cool. Being that I'm the streamer of the group, I, I tend to make progress in mod packs faster than people who make episodes. But today, we're going to focus on these chapter quests. So one of the things we need to make is an altar of birthing. Now, I believe I have the broken spawner already. It highlighted this chest. Am I am I missing it? Oh, there it is. Hey, the lazy farmer. How are you today? Then we just need conjuration source source hay bell. Morning rare. How you doing today? So let's let's grab some wheat. Oh wait, is Haybell made the same? Yeah, it is. And then someone upgraded your furnace. Uh, I was probably causing lag or something. Looks like I don't have any conjuration essence. Uh, let's see if this is essence we've already made. Ooh, it's not. We've actually got a new essence to make here. And it was Mage Bloom Block, right? If we come back here, Mage Bloom Compass Silver. So I'm going to grab a silver ingot. I know I've got silver somewhere. There it is. Let's 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 take the ingots out of here. Yeah, we're going to do a bit of Enigmatica 9 Expert, probably a one hour episode. And then we're going to go play uh, All the Mods 9 is the plan today. Compass, is that made? So that's made with tin and redstone. Can also get that hay bell made. And mage bloom block. Now I believe I have to turn the mage bloom to fiber and the fiber to a block. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to take some of my mage. Oh, we messed up. I just made die. Oops. There's a mage bloom block. Let's throw the compass silver mage bloom and all these essences have been able to use block of source. Let's try to do that. Perfect. Okay, I'll probably just store this die here. Put the mage bloom back, put the fiber here. And we can keep getting the resources here of we need two source gems. Now we just got to wait for this to finish. Uh, while that is going, why don't we take a look at some more quests here? Guys, I realized it actually steps you through the death tomes and the scribes table. You're supposed to make a death tome pearl gate which we did not do. <laughs> uh, 
and then a scribes tables we've already made. Well, in order to make a death tome, it requires the Byrog's Baleful Binding. And we need a golden sacrificial bowl and a bunch of regular sacrificial bowl. Source stone and block of source. Tell you what, what I'm going to do is take out all of my infused rock. And I'm going to unlock... The material here and we're gonna get more source block of source being made now we were using block of amethyst which I thought we had more of but maybe we'll just make this ourselves yeah it looks like that's all we have we have tons of amethyst here in the cave I'm just going to harvest a little bit here and there. And we'll use these 15 to get our block of source. Now, the thing is, to, to use our automated setup, we need to change this drawer to only accept block of source. So we'll go ahead and lock that and feed it amethyst. Perfect. Now with the materials we already have, I'm going to make some source stone. And our first set of sacrificial bowls, which it says it was a task somewhere. I'm not sure where. But all of this is in occultism. We do need a golden sacrificial bowl, but the thing is, is we need these four themselves. So let's make another set of four and take a gold ingot. There we go. Now, the thing is, is we haven't started making the chalk yet. Little update uh, since the last episode. I uh, did a bunch of player trading because I was the only one with a scribes table. And one player gave us a familiar ring with a Drick wing. That gives us slow fall and five multi jump. And we jump really high. So as you can see, we can jump one, two, three, four, five times. And I've been hard at work with the glyphs. We now have leap and self in combination with this makes it so that we can essentially fly. As long as I have the mana, which is really cool. And the slow fall prevents us from taking fall damage. So we, we kind of have flight now, which is uh, really nice to have. All right, our essence should be done. Which we completed this quest and our chapter one quest of conjuration essence. Ooh, we got some Eye of the Blaze. I'm going to put another double chest of mod reward items. Ooh, and we got another Charm of Life. That's good, because I was out. So there we go. I'm going to put the chest up here for more mod items. Yeah. 
and we'll just add a chest over here. I'm gonna work on inventory soon. We're just not quite there yet. All right, so here we go. Hay bell, spawner, source, source, conjuration. Altar of birthing. So that's the first step. And it says honey's healing properties are well known to witches. Yeah, we need to we needed to get honeycomb, which we have. And the bees themselves may be summoned with the altar of birthing. Just bring some tasty flowers for them. So we need to make a beehive, <clears throat> which I, I don't think I made the beehive already, did I? I don't think I did. Should I be safe and just make it out of oak in case there is, it only takes an oak beehive for the quest? Okay, there's a beehive. And I want to see what the Altar of Birthing does. To summon a bee, we need Spirit of Birthing and Oxide Daisy. Spirit of Birthing is with the Altar and Honeycomb. I wonder if it's any flower, actually. Let's take a couple honeycombs up to our nature's altar. And try to get birthing aura. Ooh, this takes a lot of aura. I might only do two for now. Now, I'm assuming the altar of birthing is an actual altar we have to build. Uh, the way for us to tell is to take our eccentric tome and have a look. Sometimes the creation of certain living creatures would be of use for any slightly gruesome botanist. For this, the altar of birthing can be used. It can create and spawn almost any living creature at the cost of some ingredients that are related to the very creature and a bit of aura from the environment. For it to work, it requires the right structure to be assembled as well as the usage of a spirit of birthing as follows. All ingredients, including the, including the spirit of birthing, are required to be thrown on the ground close to the altar of birthing, and the process will begin automatically. The following pages outline the construction and the way to obtain. Okay. Yeah, we've got that. Altar of birthing. Where should we put it? I kind of want to keep my altars by each other. What about, ooh, you know what? Let's, line it up. Let's put it right here. Oh wait, no, we need to go, we need to go one over. All right, it looks like it's pretty pricey, minus the wheat. Infused brick and ancient planks. How do we get infused brick? It's just four of the infused rock. Okay, and we need one, two, three, four. 
8, 12, 16. I can't see what block is in the middle there, and I, I don't know how to... It looks like it's the rock underneath the brick. So let's go make some infused brick and grab some ancient plates, plate, planks, and some hay bales. I think we've been doing enough harvesting. Ooh, you know what? Maybe not. But we do have access. To the grow spell. So I'm going to go to my grow spell, which we are using touch and grow. We're going to go to the wheat and just spam right click. Slow down a bit, and we'll just go as fast as the mana lets us. We'll see. We'll see how much uh, we're gonna need here. The bricks. I think we should be good with like twenty of them. And the ancient planks. I have a good amount of. Let's go get the base structure done. So this is going to require hay bales here instead of grass. It's always trippy to try and see what you're doing here. Oh, that's infused rock. Infused brick. Ancient planks. Gosh, this is so trippy to look at. Wonder if shaders are making it more trippy than it needs to be. Oops. I've learned to like it more with shaders. A lot of things shaders can't render. Yeah, I feel you there. Nope, that is... Okay, so these are... We've done everything. We should just need hay bales. And the altar itself. Making sure everything's clear. Okay, let's go get more hay bells. Oops, I need grow spell. That is very flashy. Okay, how many hay bells are we up to? Let's 
That's seven more. I'm going to go place them while my mana regenerates. So we've got one, two, three, four. Or you know what? These might need to be... I'm going to have them facing up just to be sure. Oh, wait, no, no. It counted it. It took it. Okay. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six more. We're done with the ancient planks. The crusher setup sucks. I need to figure out something better. Oh, with the crushing spirit. Do I know the best form? Reg tech. <laughs> it stops every two minutes. Uh, you to Greg Tech? You need to embrace the Greg. Embrace it. A strong ma macerator setup? Hmm. <laughs> Might just do the mechanism setup? Yeah. The Crusher is only good in. It takes a lot to get a good occultism crusher set up. It takes a lot. And in my opinion, with bees and essence in the game, the crusher setup's just not worth it. Pre-mech, it was good early game. Yeah. You could see that. All right. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Got me so many rare ores spread out. Yeah. I still need to set up my raw ore processing. I was thinking of maybe doing that at some point today in all the mods so here is our altar of birthing and we need breath of twilight as the end part of our quest here but now oxide daisy and spirit of birthing I had most of it done, but tore it down since the Crusher was better, but now I can clean it up and do it in the other, I guess. You're going to do it in the other, or you're going to do it in the beyond? What makes you want to do it in the beyond? Is it for, uh, you just prefer to have your mechanism stuff in the beyond? Is that why you're doing stuff there? Hmm. Okie doke. We need an Oxide Daisy. Which, I don't know if Oxide Daisy... Can we make... Can we use the na Nature Altar to get one of these easier? No, we need to actually get an Oxide Daisy. Hmm... I wonder if it would work with... Okay, it says small flowers. I'm just curious if this will work with, like, a dandelion before we try to find an oxide daisy. Okay, pushing the lithium. So I'm, I'm going to throw these here. Nope, has to be an ox eye. But, out of the corner of my eye, I think I see ox eye right over here.
So oxide daisy, birthing. Oh, I thought it would give us a spawn egg. Uh, Frick, let's give him a hive. I may not have given him a hive fast enough. I just figured out how quantum uh, entangler porters can move items, liquids, not just energy, so I'm using those now too. Yeah, those are good. Uh, I don't know. where that B went. I thought we were going to get a B spawn egg because that's what the quest requires. Yeah, he's just chilling over here. Hopefully he sees this hive. So how do you get a bee spawn egg then? The quest requires a bee spawn egg. I'm also a dum dum and made all my auto crafting with pains. Instead of providers as blocks, so I need to redo the whole thing. You can use pains or blocks. Uh, and you can, you can easily flip it back to block mode as well. So I'm confused how it says B spawn egg. Oh, optional, optional. It says optional. Okay. And then we need breath of twilight after we get some honey from him. But there's no guarantee he is set to this hive. I don't even know where he went. I'm going to make another B. Uh you might you might be able to by using the extended AE packing tape packaging the provider and then trying to turn that packaged provider into block form might keep the patterns in it no guarantee i i've never tried to do that as i don't know where my b went i got distracted I think, uh, I think Sir, I think Sir BM the first is gone. I do not see him. No, that's a bird. Rest in peace, Sir Beam. Oh no, he chose the hive. Oh, perfect. All right, let's get one more bee. And the bee should see the hive right off the bat. And I'm going to breed them. So we have three bees. Okay, so he'll come over to me. And this one needs a flower, and they should breed. Oh, we actually got a, uh, one of the fancy bees. Okay, so now we're waiting for honey. And to be able to harvest that, I'll need to put a campfire under here until we get the hive hopper. I'm going to come down here and grab three sticks. I believe it's three logs. I think. Is it logs or planks? It, it should be logs for a campfire, right? Yeah, there we go.
And once there is enough honey here, we'll uh, continue the quest. Okay, now back to the other line of quests we were doing. We need to make a ritual brazier and fiery ingot, and we need to get occultism up. So because of that, of needing to get occultism up, it's time we start uh, getting the chalks and everything for occultism. So we're going to start with white chalk. Which is calcite, calcite. sage and mugwort so we need to get our sage and mugwort dried uh ba -ba -ba. there's some sage i'll throw all the sage on here and we'll need to do mugwort too was it just two mugwort leaves Yeah, two mugwort. We should probably get another drying rack. It was slab, stick, stick, string. Slab, stick, stick, string. All right, let's dry some mugwort here. And let me double check the chalk, a uh, thousand millibuckets of water. So just one bucket, but I do need to make a new bucket. I used all my buckets in crafting glyphs. So we'll go ahead and put a thousand millibuckets of water. I think I turned all my calcite Darn it, I turned all my calcite into infused rock. So we need to go get more calcite. At least I, I think I did. Yep, I am out of calcite. Now, if I remember correctly, I got calcite right over here. So let's, uh, let's head that way. Should be over this way. Yeah, I think this is where I got it. I started digging down. And we entered a cave. And while... It, oh, geez. Oh, he's got health. Like, that's probably a spawner. Let's light this up. Oh, no, they're still spawning. Okay, let's just get... Nope, that's limestone. Dacite, Dacite, Calcite. You'll have to let me know if that worked, Rare. I'm uh, interested in knowing. Okay, I'm gonna try to just fly past these guys.
You're scared you're gonna try it right now? Good night. Okay, yeah, I, I'm not gonna fight these guys. Stop shooting me. All right, here we go. We've got the calcite. Hopefully we have the dried plants ready. Dried mugwort, dried sage. And it was calcite, calcite. Mugwort, mugwort, sage, 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 sage. Beautiful, our first piece of chalk. I'm just gonna clean up my inventory real fast. All right, and if we grab our eccentric tome, it should have our dictionary of spirits. And the first ritual we need, which was for uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, chapter one, what was the first ritual we were looking at? I don't remember. What was the ritual we were trying to do? Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, Rare. There was a very simple ritual we needed to do. Ah, summon death tome. Byrog's Baleful Binding. Byrog's Baleful Binding. Mark all entries is red, red. I know how to do all these. I am looking for the binding ritual. And we need... It should have been one of these first ones. Byrog's Belful Binding. Belful Binding. Can I... I, I need to see the, so it's just called Byrog's Baleful Binding, but I don't, I didn't see it. Ah, okay. So having a look here, it requires white and gold chalk. And eight candles. White and gold chalk and candles. Okay, so what is 
the recipe for gold chalk. Powder, 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 leaf, leaf, calcite, calcite, ancient knowledge. So we need to brew ancient knowledge first. Well, we can do that. Throw that in there, give it to nether wart. Like so, we'll brew some awkward potion. Then we'll grab two. Where did I, where did I put them? There we go, two resplendent elderberries. That'll give us ancient knowledge. And then we need two calcite. Two gold leaf, right? Was it two gold leaves and four powder? Four powder, two gold leaves. One, two, one, two, three, four. So we'll put in the powder, calcite, and leaves. Ooh, they're unbreakable. You only have to make them once. Very nice. And we got, f oh, we got f candles for free. Oh, perfect. So I'm gonna put this copper upgrade. Uh, What was the one getting pretty full? I'm gonna put it on the stone. Okay, so do these candles count? Oh, they do. It's not the occultism candle, but it, it's counting it, which is good. Then we need white runes. Oops, a uh, chalk brush. Gold, oh, it's gold powder. We, d we didn't even need gold chalk. Well, I made it gold chalk anyway. Okay, powder, powder. Okay, then we need our sacrificial bowl, four of them, and throw this here and go one, two, three, four. Okay, and the summon death tome is Anima Essence, which we actually haven't made either. We need Lead, Charm of Life, Bottle of Blood. Let me get all uh, cleaned up here. Now we've started to get some lead. Not enough, though. Oh, wait, no. We just need one ingot. So, I can blast this. Oh, no, I need five. Ah! Oh, wait, unless... Unless I use my sensitive crush aha -ha! easy peasy okay so there is our lead ingot fiery blood and uh, what was the other 
the Charm of Life 2, which we have one of. Let's throw these here. Oh, what did I do wrong? Oh, Bottle of Blood, not Fiery Blood. Ooh, that's a bit, uh, to get a bottle of blood. There's a couple, there's a couple methods. But you have to put a blood sigil in a cauldron and jump inside of it. But we would need to make the blood sigil first, which is a potion of harming. Which we can do with mandrake and poison. Which we can go from healing. Okay, we need to do a bit of a chain here. A bit of a chain. Do we have time? Yeah, we've got time. Let's brew up. An awkward potion. And we will use the dual honeycomb method for potion of healing. That's not too bad. And then... Was Mandrake possible to... Mandrake from healing. Healing Mandrake root. Perfect. Healing Mandrake root. Potion of harming. And then we need four gravel. Or not four gravel. Four flint and four source stone. I don't we're gonna have to make some gravel for the flint um and cr crush it yeah the two percent chance that way but we will i have Ooh, can we make a mill press stone slab Ooh, ooh. maybe we'll maybe we'll make a mill but what i'm gonna do is get the source stone. What am I doing? Source stone. Let's make a bunch of it. And the next step in the process is the gravel. But I kind of want to do it with a millstone. So I need to remember if we have compressed stone at the moment. It says there's some over here. There's only one. Can I turn one into a slab? Perfect. Then, for the millstone, we just need a compressed stone casing and a cogwheel. All of the create stuff. Darn, we are going to have to make some more compressed stone, I think. Yeah, I only have copper casing. Okay, let's start with a cog wheel, which is shaft, which is two compressed stone. So I'll take some of our infused rock.
and we'll go from the item crush to just crush. And there is the shafts and the cog wheel we can get from Plank. In fact, I'm actually going to need a couple more cog wheels. And then we should be able to put down the stripped logs. Oh, what was the... Compressed stone. It should work on any stripped log. Can it not do strip twilight? It said it worked with canopy, so. There we go. Okay. Casing. Slab. Hog. Millstone. Which gives us a few rewards. Which our inventory is a bit full at the moment. But I'm going to put the cog I can pull from here. Yeah, this would be this would be a lot easier if we can let's just see what a gearbox recipe is. Okay, it's just four cog. So I'll make these cogs make a gearbox and uh i feel like we had the wrench but i can also turn this vertical like this so we'll just do it that way we'll place it would tell you what, i'm gonna move my starbuckle down one Vertical, hog, millstone. Perfect. Now for the gravel, uh, I'm just going to take some cobble, a one, two, three, four, and turn it to gravel. Look at us making progress, guys. We're getting there. Oh, that's right. We gotta throw it in. But this is gonna give us flint. Had to finish my coffee. Oh, 
Oh, I took the gravel out. Oops. Okay. Leave that running for a second. Let's get the flint. The what what else was required here? Flint, flint, and the four source stone. One more flint. Perfect. This will make us the sigil of harming or blood sigil, which we place up here. And now if I hop inside, should fill this with blood and a bottle of blood. Only needs 250. So we've got enough. I have bottles all over the place. Oops. Bottle of blood. Gearbox reward. Okay. Place the bottle of blood. Place a block of source. We're getting life essence. Let's start filling out the ritual. With bookshelf, bookshelf, conjuration, anima, emerald. We can do that. We have bookshelves somewhere where did I put the bookshelves whatever tell you what we will just make one two three four five six oh I didn't unclick fast enough that's fine so bookshelf, bookshelf. Conjuration. This is gonna give us the anima when it's done and then we'll need a block of emerald. I don't have enough emeralds. Uh-oh. Twilight Forest, negative 25 to negative 32. And tell you what, I'll grab a gold pickaxe because it will have default fortune. I think they get fortune two. Yeah, fortune two. No, I don't think you, oh, you can enchant it. I'm gonna add unbreaking. All right, we need emeralds. It says it spawns in any biome. So we need to be below, oh, you know what? We should go the other way. need to be below negative 20 something here. Negative 25 to negative 32. Okay, we are now at the range. And what I'll do is grab my three by two pickaxe. And watch for emeralds.
And if uh, our inventory fills up entirely before we get emeralds, I will probably eat diamonds. We'll probably call the stream without getting the emeralds and I'll have to dig for them separately. Not the stream, sorry, the recording. We're probably going to play all the mods after this. Come on, Emerald. Oh, inventory's full. All right. Let's head back up, head back home. Tell you what I'll do for anybody who is uh, watching this episode on YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful day or night, whatever you are in the world. And I'll catch you next time here on Edomatica 9 Expert. Bye bye.